Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the MCQs on general microbiology and this is the 14th part of the series of 500 MCQs on microbiology. So let's start the question answer session on general microbiology with detailed explanation. Okay, so the first question is erythromycin is a amino penicillin, amino glycoside, macrolid or quinolone and the right answer is option C that is macrolid and these macrolids are protein synthesis inhibitors the mechanism of action of macrolids is inhibition of bacterial protein biosynthesis and they are thought to do this by preventing peptidyl transferase from adding the growing peptide attached to tRNA to the next amino acid as well as inhibiting bacterial ribosomal translation okay so here we can see macrolids inhibits the peptidyl transferase peptidyl transferase from the uh, <coughs> from the already growing chain to the new amino acid attached okay so this is the mode of action of inhibiting bacterial translation by macrolids next one and also we can here see the mechanism of action mechanism of action of macrolids so erythromycin displays a displays a bactericidal activity particularly at higher concentration and it prevents the erythromycin prevents the growth of bacteria by inhibiting their protein synthesis erythromycin binds to the 23s rRNA molecule in the 50s ribosomal subunit and this binding blocks the exit of the growing peptide thus inhibiting the translocation of peptides okay so these are the mechanism of action of erythromycin and the next one is the aflaxacin is an amino penicillin or amino glycoside or macrolids or quinolone and the right answer is option D that is quinolone and their mechanism of action is quinolones block the reaction and trap xyrase or tocoisomerase 4 as a drug a drug enzyme DNA complex which subsequently release of lethal double stranded breaks so this so this quinolones attach to the DNA gyrase or topoisomerase which are responsible for the uh, removal of the positive supercoiling. So if they attached with the DNA gyrase and in the next they break the double stranded, they uh, produce the double stranded break. Okay. And this strand break leads to source response, SOS response, which leads to DNA repair mechanism involving low fidelity DNA polymerase, which cause lethal mutation leading to genomic toxicity and finally cell death so next one move on to the next question that is neomycin blood agar is a selective medium for clostridium perfringens vibrio cholerae coronibacterium diphtheri or mycoplasma pneumonia and the right answer is option a that is clostridium perfringens so for clostridium perfringens the selective medium is used as neomycin is used as neomycin blood agar is used as selective medium and neomycin blood agar based on columbia agar enriched with 7% horse blood this horse blood and this formulation has been modified to include neomycin which will inhibit most gram positive and gram negative gram, gram negative aerobes making it suitable for use as selective medium for the isolation of many anaerobes so this medium is used to isolation for anaerobes and they inhibit the gram positive and gram negative aerobes okay and neomycin blood agar is also commonly used as a selective medium for the isolation of vancomycin resistant enterococci from feces okay and these examples are bacteroids fragilis and clostridium perfringens show gray colonies while escherichia coli is inhibited by this neomycin blood agar through this neomycin okay so next one is the potassium telluride blood agar is a selective medium for clostridium perfringens, vibrio cholerae, coronibacterium diphtheria or mycoplasma pneumonia and the right answer is option C that is coronibacterium diphtheria and this telluride blood agar is a selective medium used for isolation and cultivation of coronibacterium species and this potassium telluride act as a selective agent and has inhibitory activity against most gram positive and gram negative bacteria except coronibacterium species okay so next one is the pplo agar is a selective medium for clostridium perfringens vibrio cholerae or coronibacterium diphtheria or mycoplasma pneumonia and the right answer is option d that is mycoplasma pneumonia and this pplo agar is recommended for the isolation and cultivation of mycoplasma species 
and this mycoplasma is also called pleuropneumonia like organism which is the short form is pplo pleuropneumonia like organism this pplo is the short form of this organism and this media is for mycoplasma and therefore it is called pplo agar so it is also known as the mycoplasma agar okay so move on to the next question that is gelatin gelatin torocolate uh, triptychase telluride agar gtta agar is a selective medium for clostridium perfringens vibrio cholerae cholerobacterium diphtheriae or mycoplasma pneumonia and right answer is option b vibrio cholerae so next one is rna contains guanine phosphoric acid d ribose all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above because in a rna the sugar backbone is d phosphoric acid attached to one uh, rna component to another rna component and guanine is the base nitrogenous base okay so all are present in rna molecule so next one is the metachromatic granules are stained by malachite green stain albert stain gsm stain or bright stain and the right answer is option b albert stain is used for metachromatic granules and this albert stain for staining of volutin granules or uh, metachromatic granules containing organisms like diphtheria bacillus and the granular granules appear red to violet rest of the bacilli appear blue or greenish blue that are the metachromatic okay so next one is the ba bacterial spores are stained by malachite green stain albert stain gsm stain or right stain and the right answer is option a that is malachite green stain is used for bacterial spore and here malachite green is the primary stain and then the heat is used uh, to fix them and then decolorizer is used with uh, that is the water wash and then safranin is used as a counter stain so the spores come as so spores comes as the uh, <coughs> color of malachite green okay and in next next is capsule can be demonstrated by nagler reaction hemagglutination test coulomb reaction or silver impregnation staining and the right answer is option c that is coulomb reaction so coulomb reaction is used to demonstrate the capsule so positive coulomb reaction where the capsule swelling when the tested against antiserum containing anti-capsular antibodies so here it is the normal time and when we add the anti-capsular antibodies then the capsular uh, structure will be swelled okay and take is this technique is used to detect encapsulated bacteria such as uh, uh, such as uh, hemophilus influenzae and staphylococcus pneumoniae okay so Next one is the flagella can be demonstrated by Nagler reaction, hemagglutination test, Coulomb reaction or silver impregnation staining. And the right answer is silver impregnation staining. Okay. And next one is lecithinous production by Clostridium uh, podringons can be demonstrated by Nagler reaction, hemagglutination test, Coulomb reaction or silver impregnation staining. And the right answer is option A. That is Nagler reaction is used for the lecithinous production test and this and this test is done to detect the lecithinous activity the microorganism is inoculated on the medium containing human serum or egg yolk containing lecithin so here in the whole plate the microorganism that is clostridium is added and then the plate is incubated anaerobically at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hours the colonies of Clostridium perfringens are surrounded by zones of turbidity due to lecithinous activity and the effect is specifically inhibited if Clostridium perfringens antiserum containing alpha antitoxin is present on the medium. So it, there in this part this is divided into in the middle and in this part alpha toxin is added here. So here no growth or no turbidity is shown but here in this portion no antitoxin is present. So a <clears throat> a turbidity turbidity here we can see due to opacity due to lecithinous activity of alpha toxin okay so this is the nagler reaction and next one is the multiple drug resistance is common in gram positive cocky gram negative cocky enterobacteriaceae or all of the above and the right answer is option c that is enterobacteriaceae 
And next one is the bacterial transduction can be generalized, restricted, or both of the above or none of the above. And the right answer is option C. That is both of the above. And here the generalized and specialized transduction. Generalized transduction is generalized because any of the host cell DNA can be incorporated into new phase that is random. So here A means any kind of bacterial gene can be incorporated into phage okay but in specialized transduction specialized transduction is specialized or uh, specific because only the host cell dna only the host cell dna that is next to the phage dna can form in new phage so the host dna which is near to the uh, near to the phage gene that only go to the phage dna so that is a specialized or specific gene will be transferred okay so in the next indicator used in thioglycolate medium is bromothymol blue resuserin resuserin zirin both of the above or either of the above and the right answer is option d either of the above can be used as an indicator in thioglycolate medium and this thioglycolate broth or fluid glycolate medium is a medium designed to test the aerotolerant of bacteria aero, aero tolerance of bacteria means oxygen tolerance of the bacteria can be measured by this broth along with nutrients to support bacterial growth it contains sodium thioglycolate thioglycolic acid l cysteine or methylene blue and 0.05% agar the sodium thioglycolate thioglycolic acid and l cysteine reduces the oxygen to water and methylene blue is an indicator that is colorless in an anaerobic environment and greenish blue in the presence of oxygen. The agar helps retard oxygen diffusion and helps maintain the satisfaction of organism. Sorry, uh, stratification of organisms growing in a different layer of the broth. So here we can see in different layer, different type of microorganisms will grow. In the top, only the aerobic microorganisms will go in the uh, bottom the obligate anaerobes will be grow okay and in middle the micro aerophilic organisms will grow and in all over the uh, media that is facultative microorganisms will grow okay so next one is the indicator used in um, mesinthos fields jar or also known as anaerobic gas jar the, where the indicator is bromothymol blue methylene blue or phenol red or neutral red and the right answer is option b that is methylene blue is used as an indicator for mesinthos filter or anaerobic gas jar and this one is the anaerobic gas jar where these are the plate used to grow the anaerobic microorganisms and here an uh, indicator is present that is methylene blue and normally it is pink and when it is uh, in presence of the anaerobic condition it will show the blue color okay and this is the gas jar uh, this is the uh, anaerobic gas pack where this envelope containing chemicals to release CO2 and H2O to maintain the anaerobic condition. Okay, so next one is the Lavastein Janssen medium is sterilized by inspissation, filtration, tindalization, autoclaving. And the right answer is option A that is, inspissation is used to sterilize Lavastein Janssen medium. And this inspissation is a heating technique where heating the material at 80 to 85 degrees celsius for half an hour daily on three successive days and serum and egg serum or egg media are sterilized by this process okay next one is the action of formaldehyde is bactericidal sporocidal viricidal or all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above and clostridium perfringens is facultative anaerobes facultative aerobe, obligate aerobe or obligate anaerobe and the right answer is option D that is obligate aerobe and next one is the in continuous culture devices used is chemostat, turbidostat, both of the above or none of the above and the right answer is option C both of the above is used in continuous culture where we can see the the turbidostat means the regular the in turbidostat regulates the flow rate of media through vessels to maintain the predetermined turbidity so here this is uh, so this is the tank where that is the reactor where bacterial bacteria will grow so here the regulate the flow rate so flow rate flow of the media is regulated here but that maintain the constant turbidity in this position so that is the turbidostat okay and maintain the highest 
growth rate and no limiting nutrient is present here and but in chemostat rate of incoming media rate of incoming media into the reactor and rate of removal of medium rate of the remove rate of the removal of the medium is same okay and maintain the exponential growth phase here the exponential growth phase is maintained and an essential nutrient is in limiting quantities okay so in turbidity stat turbidity is constant and but in chemostat the rate of incoming of media and rate of removal of medium is constant okay so this is the main concept of continuous culture and next we will see in continuous culture the cells are maintained in lack phase exponential phase stationary phase or none of the above and the right answer is option b that is option uh, exponential phase or lock phase okay next one is the following is or are mutagens two amino purin five bromouracil acridine dyes or all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above are mutagens next one is all the following are bactericidal agents except formaldehyde lysol hexachloropin or sodium hypochlorite and the right answer is option c that is hexachloropin is not a sterilizing agent but all other formaldehyde lysol and sodium hypochlorite are used as a sterilizing agent okay and what is bactericidal bactericidal means kill the microbes and another term that is related to this that is bacteriostatic which is means inhibit the growth of bacteria but bactericidal means kill the microbes okay so next one is the the following is bacteriostatic mercurochrome strong alkali chlorohexidine or providon iodine and the right answer is option a mercurio mercurochrome is a bacteriostatic chemical agent samples of nail for fungal culture may be debris under the nail flex completely damaged nail cut into small pieces all of the above and the right answer is option d this all of the above so these are the all 25 questions of this part okay thank you for watching this video